Okay, so <laughs> we got disconnected. I hope that you will join us again so that we can finish our talk with Miss Miyoshi. Um, she will be back on with us ASAP. Not sure what happened. We seem to be having um, some technical difficulties um, as on some one of our ends. So hopefully you will continue to um, support and listen as we talk to Miss. All right, we're back, okay? <laughs> All right, honey. So we were talking about um, your classmates in school um, and we were talking to them and you were saying that some of them can be a little jealous um, when it comes to you having your own business. How do you, how do you deal with that? I mean, I know that I'm ready something with my life one day and the ones that just don't care about like what they do now mm -hmm. okay have you dealt with bullying in school um, yeah, um, there's a lot of people that, um, bully some kids in my school. Um, like, if I see somebody bullying somebody, I will step in and tell the bullier to back off because it's not right. Because, I mean, that kid could go, like, and, like, like, I help them. I help them, like, tell them, stop, don't do that because it's not worth it. They're just hating on you. Um, I know um, I know a five-year-old that tried to kill herself because she was getting bullied about her weight in school. Um, she went home one day, and she ran some bath water, and she stuck her head in the water and um, tried to drown herself. And if her mom wasn't there and told her to come downstairs and get ready for dinner, um, and if she didn't go upstairs to help her, um, she would be gone right now. And that's somebody close to me. And it really hurts me. And I don't like to see people get bullied. And I don't like people bullying each other and stuff. Because, I mean, the more you bully somebody, it hurts you more. The pain hurts you more than it hurts them because, as you see, as they, like, try to kill herself, it's, like, because of you because you've been messing with them for so long and they can't take it no more. So they just take the strength and just don't want to be in this world no more. Yeah, there's been a lot of cases. Um, there was one a couple of months ago where a young girl, I believe she was maybe 11 years old, she um, she committed suicide because she was being bullied in in her school. And from what I understand, the parents went to administration to talk to them about it. And really, the school did not handle it properly. And the girl continued to be bullied. Um, I know that my my daughter was um, a victim of bullying last year, and I had to really um, stay proactive as her mother to make sure that they were doing something to address the bullying that she was dealing with, because it was making her very upset, very emotional, to the point she didn't want to go to school. So it's really important for us to stick up for people when they are being bullied, um, because you never know what what they're going through when they leave school and what the consequences can be. So that's really good that you stick up for people when they're being bullied. Um, where they're being bullied, when they're being bullied. <laughs> um, that's that's very impressive of you to do that because some, some people need that. They need somebody to stick up for them. Um, have you ever thought about uh, maybe starting a anti-bullying club or writing a book about bullying? Um, yeah, um, Mr. Tim, he's supposed to be working with me to um, start like the anti-bullying club, um, so okay. I'll let you know the details about that when we are done. Um, okay. 
Sounds good. Tell me about your book again. What's the name of your book and where can we find your book? Um, the name of my book is titled 60 Days of Hope and Inspiration. And you can find my book on Amazon. Um, you can also order it for me and my um, link on Instagram at meals underscore world or meals underscore customer. Um, and you can also find it on Facebook in my description. Okay, good. So now, tell me more about Mio's World. You said that you have slime, you have your book. What other things do you have? And where can we find your products? Do you have like a store or is everything online? Um, everything's basically online and on Facebook. And um, some stuff okay. is on Instagram. And I do a lot of events. I also, I actually have an event coming up this Saturday. Um, it's going to be... Um, Hilton it's going to be at the Hilton Gardens on Statesville mm -hmm. Road. Okay. Um, it's going to be from 10 to 4 um, this week, this weekend. So, y'all can come out and information will be in my on Instagram and on Facebook um, later on, maybe tomorrow. Um and some of it is also already on there. Um, I also have some of my products right now. Me, I have my um, Converse, my baby shoes. Oh, those are cute. You designed those yourself? Yes, ma'am. Oh, those are beautiful. I love those. What else do you have with you? Thank you. I have... Um, I have the adult pair Converse. The adult pair Converse that has the pink pearls on them. Okay. And I am a Converse girl. I have like five different colors right now. So I might have to get those from you because I am a Converse girl. I love me some Converse. <laughs> those are nice. You have anything else to show us? I have like um like wedges for like um Oh, those are nice. Did you design those yourself? Those are gorgeous. I think we might have us a little fashionista. <laughs> if y'all come out on Saturday, some of my clothes will also be walked in the fashion show. So um, come out and join us, guys, and, like, have some fun, like, CIAA day party. It's a uh, like a um, CIAA day party, so it's like it's gonna be fun. So I think y'all should just come out and just support me, and yeah, just have some fun. Okay, sounds good. So tell us again. It's gonna be at the Hilton. You said off of Statesville Road from ten till when? Uh-oh, I think we've lost her. Um, so she was letting us know that she has, again, where she is going to be showcasing her shoes, her clothes, her book. She's going to have all of her things there at the Hilton Garden Inn, I believe. She said off of Statesville Road for CIAA weekend. It's going to be from 10 to 4. I will make sure that I post her information and where she's going to be at this weekend. There are going to be a lot of free events this weekend that you can take the kids to. So make sure you stop through and support Miss um, Miss Mio. All right, so 
she is looks like she got kicked off so we're going to try to add her back on while we have a couple of minutes left because I would like to ask her specific questions. You know, what steps should she take to start um, to start her business? Um, I think that that is something that all of us would love to hear. Um, she said that she did have a, um, a mentor, Mr. Timothy Nelson, that helped her. But she also lives in a family full of entrepreneurs. Her mom has um, a boutique. Her father has, I believe, a cleaning business. She has a lot going on right there in her family. That's something that we have talked about um, this month, about keeping things in the family, talking to our children right at home, encouraging them and inspiring them at home. It starts at home. Our children are our, our village. We are here to protect them. We are here to make them successful. So just hearing that she has these mentors at home um, is such an amazing thing. Is See how positive parenting can foster foster positive children, just like Mia Mio. So it looks like she will be able to join us back here in a couple of seconds, um, and so that we can ask her some questions. I have some questions from a couple of kids when I told them that I was going to be talking to her today, um, and we will get a chance to ask her some of these questions um, before we lose her again. <laughs> I don't know if it's on my end or her end, but we want to continue talking to Ms. Neo and getting to know her and getting to know um, what inspired her. So there she is. You're back. <laughs> we are having fun tonight with this with this connection, this lady. And I don't know if it's on my end or your end, but I'm so glad that you're sticking in there with us. Um, I have a couple of questions from a couple of kids for you. Um, one, you said that you had a mentor who was Mr. Tim Nelson, correct? Um, it's Mr. Timothy. It's Timothy. It's Timothy Sampson. I don't really know his oh, name. Timothy. I just know. Okay. I just, yeah, okay, I just well, let me wrong. Mr. Tim. Okay. And what does Mr. Tim do? Does he help um, entrepreneurs get started or does he specifically work with, with youth that want to start their own business? Um, he helps everybody. Um, he's a junior okay. CEO, of course. Um, he just basically like he mentors you uh, and then like once you like get going, like he'll um, like tell you different steps like how to do this right. Um, make sure you have, like, if somebody, like, wanted to take you out big time, like, um, products, make sure you have a lawyer to, like, sign over the contract. And um, make sure you read it before you just sign the contract because you never know. Even though, yeah, because the high school guy, even though you know that it's a big person and you just want to go ahead and go for it, it's not always the best idea. You have to make sure the contract is good. Yeah, make sure they're paying you the right amount. Um, because you have to make sure the income is right and you don't want to like, you don't want to rush the process of it. That's right. That's right. Um, that's something that I had to learn. You know, I've been running my own business, um, since I was about 18 years old and you want to be very protective of your brand because you put a lot of heart and you put a lot of effort into it. So you want to make sure that nobody takes advantage of you. Um, what is one of your favorite moments of being um, a youthpreneur? What is something that you feel very proud of um, being a youthpreneur? My favorite um, part was when I was, I have actually two. Okay, let's hear them. Um, one of my favorite parts is when I was in Happy Cat Candles. That was a really good store. It was in Concord Mills Mall and North Lakes Mall. And, um, I actually dropped out of there because, um, she was raising my price up too high and I didn't want to do it no more. So, yeah. Okay. And I wasn't making... More money in vendor fees. I wasn't like making a lot of more money. Like I was paying more money in vendor fees, fees than I was like anything. But it put your name. Gotcha. Gotcha. So why was that one of your favorite moments? Um, because like um when they had events like at the mall, we would all mm -hmm. like all the vendors would come together and like just talk and have fun and like 
eat and just chill, and it'd just be like a really cool time. Okay. And then, All right. So. so it was good for you, and you liked it because of the unity of being able to network with other people. Yes, ma'am. And then my other one okay. was when I was in the um, uh, Charlotte Children Business Fair, and like we won trophies and certificates with it. And um, that was really fun. It was a really fun event. It was really inspiring. Um, there was other entrepreneurs there that had just started their business, and they was like all coming and asking me questions about um the business, how to start it, how to um get it out there more. And it was just more. It was fun because I had to talk to a lot of other entrepreneurs, young entrepreneur out there. Okay, it sounds like you like networking, Miss Mio. Is that a passion for you? It sounds uh, yes, like yes. it. It sounds like it. Awesome. Awesome. So you said this was the Charlotte um, Youth. What was it again that you said that you went to? It was um, Charlotte Business Fair. Charlotte Children. Okay. Is that something that they do every year? Because I've never heard of it. Um, it was her first year this year, but she is, she said that she is gonna start doing um one every year, and uh, the next one is in springtime, and I'll let y'all know the dates and stuff for that. Okay, that sounds wonderful. So I have a couple more questions that I got from some of the some kids that I was talking to when I told them I was going to be um, interviewing you. They wanted to know, um, were you ever scared? At what point, were you ever scared when you started your business or since you started your business? Has there any has there any 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 fear of being successful or anything like that? Um. Not really. I mean, like when I'm out in the crowd, I'm not really scared because mm -hmm. I like I talk to everybody, so it don't. Mm. My mom, like when we're out somewhere and I just see somebody like uh -huh. outside, like, I'll go and talk to them. I don't know why it's just a habit. Like I'll talk to everybody okay. and like I talk to police officers, firefighters, um, ambulance, some um, people. I just talk to everybody. I don't, it's just a habit. Yeah. That's good. I can tell that networking is a big thing for you, but you're also a very social person. What are some of your strengths that you feel make you good at being an entrepreneur? What are some of your strengths that you use for your business? Mm. Uh. <laughs> I got you on that one, huh? <laughs> I mean, believe in We can come back to that uh, one. We can come back to that one. Um, what are you, oh, what wait, do you want to do in the one. future? You got one? Okay, um, I'm listening. I'm like... Wrong, so don't worry about it. Don't like, don't. and that's good. Those that's a very awesome quality to never doubt yourself, always be confident, um, always um, give yourself positive self talk. Um, that's something that I, I have to work on sometimes is not being so hard on myself and just you know, uplifting myself and staying positive. So that's a good thing. That's awesome. What are you looking forward to? What, what's next for, for you? What's next? What's on your list? Um, I got a lot of stuff on my list. Um, I'm going to talk about a lot of it right now, but okay. um, this is like an early statement for y'all. Um, May 4th and 5th, I will be in um, L.A., Atlanta. Well, right now I'll be in LA coming May 4th and 5th. Um, I'm going to speak with a big time celebrity. I don't want to get names up there right now. Um, we're going to go live on the 4th or the 5th. And we are going to talk about um, what we've been doing, what we've been planning. And it's going to be really fun. I mean, okay. that's sort of like, like, I feel like my, bu my business is going to take off after that. So. 
That's good. I am so proud of you. You are an amazing young lady. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead and continue. Uh, you're fine. I'm in the process of working with four major celebrities, so it's going to be, like, um, a really fun adventure for me, like, to see, like, how they, like, started up as how they are now and, like, why they wanted to do it and stuff like that. Okay. All right. That is awesome. Um, I want to say thank you because you are, um, seem to be a very amazing young lady. Um, definitely a young lady that our children can learn from that want to start their own business, but also just want to be a positive role model for other kids. If you were to talk to a group of kids, what would be your biggest suggestion? And it doesn't have to be really business related, but what do you as Neo have to say to other youths that you meet? Um, they should never be scared um, to hear the word to hear the word no because you're gonna hear that more than you hear the word yes in life because some people are gonna tell you no they don't want to support you because some people are just like that they just don't want to see other people succeed in life and they just want to see they just want to doubt you all the time but you know what you just gotta let them go the haters gotta go and just keep <laughs> on believing in yourself and keep on shooting for the stars it only takes one person to say yes. And always believe in yourself no matter what, trust in yourself, listen to your heart and stuff. That is great. And you know what? That advice is not just for kids, but it can be for adults too. Because as an adult, as you say, there's a lot of haters out there who do not want to see you succeed. And so you have to be positive. And that to me starts with yourself. That starts with your heart and having self-confidence and having positive self-esteem um, and just knowing who you are and just knowing that you are a good person and you're doing things to not only help yourself, but to help others. So you said that you have some big news and you have some big people that you're meeting in May. I would love to have you back on the show after May so that you can give us an update and tell us what's going on with you. Um, we have the teddy bear drive coming up on Sunday. Are you going to be able to come out and bring the teddy oh, bears? Yes. Uh -huh. Great. Well, I can't wait to see you and give you some big old hugs and you can meet the, the twins. Um, but also just to be in your presence. I think you are a beautiful young lady. Um, I'm looking forward to my twins meeting you um, and just seeing you progress into a beautiful young woman that you already are. Um, I want you to tell your parents, thank you for raising such an amazing young lady and for letting you stay up with us tonight. It's going on nine o'clock um, and I know that it's probably time for you to be getting ready for bed. So please give them no, my gratitude. I usually don't go to bed till like three o'clock in the morning and then my mom comes in the room yelling at me. So I think it's okay. Three o'clock in the morning? What are you doing yeah, up so I'd be, late? <laughs> I'd be up working on my projects um, from school, homework, SGA president stuff, um, business stuff. So, got a lot of stuff. I think, to do. I think you might be our next um, president. I can see you being our next president. Is that is that too far to reach for you? You think you can do that? Um, no, yeah, I think I can do that. I think I you like can to do that the, too. Yeah, I like to be either the president of the United States or um, I like to sit on the Supreme Court and be a Supreme Court judge. Okay, that was going to be my one of my last questions. Are you going to go to college, and what do you want to be? What is your career yes. goal? I'm gonna go to college. I even wanna go to Yale, Harvard, Princeton. Either the president of the United States, um, the president of the United States, or I like to be a judge and sit on the Supreme Court. Um, I mean, both of them are good careers, and I'll also do my business at the same time because it won't affect it. Yes, it won't. You can do whatever it is that your heart wants to do. And I believe that you can be the president or the Supreme Court judge, anything that you put your mind to. Because I, I can see I can see in you that you are going to be a star, a superstar, because you already are. Already. Thank you so much. <laughs>
You are so welcome, sweetheart. Um, so I will see you on Sunday for the teddy bear drive. And this is my daughter, Heaven. Hello. Hi. <laughs> She's in fifth grade, so she has been listening as we talk to you. Um, her and I just uh, started our little jewelry business. And so she's going to be my little partner. Because I think it's really important for kids to learn about money and how to run their business and being self-sufficient. Um, there's so many different things out here for kids to do. Um, including getting in trouble and being on the streets. I really applaud that you are out in the community, you're volunteering, you're being a role model for the, your, your fellow students, and you're going to college, and you're going to make that money, young lady. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, and we will see you on Sunday, Miss Mio. Okay. Thank you for having me on your show tonight. You're welcome. Tell us how to find you on on social media and tell us how we can find your business. Um, you can find me on social media on Instagram. You can find me at meals underscore world or meals underscore. meals underscore customized customers. And on Facebook, just playing on meals world. And at Twitter, you can find me at meals world. Okay, awesome. So Mio's World on Facebook and Twitter and on Instagram is Mio underscore world and Mio underscore customize. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. I think I'm already following you, but I'm going to make sure that you get some more followers because I'm going to be blasting you out all week. Okay. Okay. Thank you so all much. Right, you have a good night. You too, and we'll Bye. see you on Sunday, all right? Okay. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> so that was Miss Mio of Mio's World. She is an amazing young lady. Do you guys agree? She is an awesome young lady. So make sure that she and Facebook, um, Mio's World. On Instagram, she made it very clear that it has to be underscore. So Mio underscore world and Mio underscore customized. She has bling converse, bling tennis shoes, bling fashion clothes. <laughs> she sells slime of every color and ugh, I don't like slime, but it's the crave for the kids. So it's such a smart move for her to have slime. So please check her out. Show her to your kids. Connect with her. She's going to be coming to our CIAA Teddy, Teddy Drive this Sunday at Freedom Park. Come out. Bring your new teddy bears or new stuffed um, animals out to benefit the children at the Levine Children's Center. We will be meeting at Freedom Park this Sunday at 3 o'clock. Ms. Mio will be there. Come out and meet her. Come out and meet me. And come out and meet the other volunteers who are donating their teddy bears and stuffed animals for the children at the Levine um, Children's Center. It's a renowned hospital that is located here in Charlotte, North Carolina that helps children with terminal illnesses. Ms. Mio is going to be there. She has taken up a collection at her school. As of last week, she told me that she had already collected over 60 teddy bears. That is phenomenal. She has collected over 60 teddy bears for us already. So I know when she comes on Sunday, she's going to probably have twice of that. She is an amazing young lady, someone definitely for our children to get to know and to follow on social media. She's a positive young lady. She wants to be the next president of the United States or Supreme Court judge. Those are amazing goals. Definitely something that we want our children or someone that we want our children to associate with. This is what happens when you have good parenting. When there's good parenting at home and you're invested in your children and you're talking to your children and talking to them about their future, this is the result. This is a result. Ms. Mio, Mio Shabergas of Mio's World. Follow her on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And come out Sunday to Freedom Park. It's CIAA weekend. End your weekend bringing out your teddy bears to donate any stuffed animals to donate to the children at the Levine Children's Center and take the opportunity to meet Miss Mio herself and me. See you on Sunday. See you on Facebook. See you on the Speak Up and Inspire series podcast every Monday at eight o'clock. Have a good night.